Hey, I'm Jesse. Behind the camera is Will, and together we are Top Jaw. We travel the world documenting the best things to eat, drink, and do. We are in Valencia. Birthplace of that massive Spanish export, the paella. In one day only, we're going to visit some exceptional local favorites. We are here for paella, of course, for all de Valencia. And in this place, we're joined by a very little special guest. Very little, very special. Hello, mate. Will's a little mini me, isn't it? <laughs> Blanket. Lots of small fishes that do look like cabbage. With egg on top, I've not had this before. They're sort of like cooked down bean sprouts, but with more flavor, saltier. Very exciting moment. This is the true classic paella. Beans, snails, whoa, big tomatoes, and tuna salad. The idea is that these two dishes go very well together as you eat them together. Here are friends. This is cheesecake. Super, super popular dessert here. No crispy base like a usual cheesecake has, but that is awesome. This one is white chocolate lava cake with pistachio ice cream. Oh, yes. That is really good. Oh, yeah, give him a little raspberry. Go on. Get... What do you think? Short taxi ride to an area called Cabanya. This is a real locals area, and the place that serves locals here their coffee is Tada. Lorenzo roasts all the coffee himself, mainly deals with Peruvian beans, small batch, artisan, quality control. You get it right? Perfect. Lorenzo is really passionate about combining his coffee with Spanish products, flavors. Get in there, mate. Oh God, that's good. The horchata is a very Valencian drink made with a base of tiger nuts, yeah? However, this is Lorenzo's dirty version, mixed with his cold brew. <laughs> I've had horchata before. It's very thick, very milky, very like, a, almost like a lassi. But that is much more like, um, almost like a coconut milk type thing. I need to correct myself. It's tire, not tala, as I said before. <laughs> Even it's easier. Weird. We've come round the corner, literally round the corner, to Casa Montaña. It is not just Valencia traditional, it's super specific to this neighborhood. Play the keys again. Super traditional to this neighborhood. 1839, this place first opened, where it's just a wine shop. And there used to be a queue. So what do they start doing? They start serving tapas. And now 2023, and they're still going very strong. These mussels smell enormously fresh. That's the way I can describe it. The texture of those. So this is like an incredibly traditional dish. These are their broad beans. Big old beans cooked in a sauce that's made using lots of beautiful Spanish meats. They look pretty beany. That pairing of the vermouth and the meaty, spicy beans, really quite remarkable. Casa Montaña, big recommendation from us. We have come to Mercad de Caron, which is kind of a weird name, but it's a big, beautiful market. Built in 1916, this is one of the most beautiful buildings in Valencia. Come to Hochata Daniel for, believe it or not, some Hochata. Thank you very much. Thank you. What, what have you done here? I just ordered a couple of beers, mate. We're in Valencia. No, but you've, you've basically gone to a donut shop and ordered a hot dog. This is the very traditional style that Horchata Daniel's been doing for, well, since 1949, so 75 years. It's very sweet, it's very creamy, it's very refreshing. It's not like, I don't know, you know, like a frappuccino, everyone knows one of those, mate. It's like super sweet. This is a bit more refined than that. Okay, so these are called fartons. Sorry? Which is like a translation to gluttonous. The whole point is you're going to dip them in your horchata and they soak up the horchata. Oh wow, they, they really soak up. They don't hang about. Yeah, I'm very into it. New York, London, Paris, they have these big hucks, right? <sighs> big little lungs of the city. Valencia has a part of like an artery of green. And this is it, it's beautiful. Well, what do you expect to find when you're in like more of an industrial part of town? Warehouses serving up craft beers. Bingo! That's where we are, 0-11. We have a homage to the 80s, beer pong championships, cornhole championships, and I've been told repeatedly, the best craft beer in Valencia. So we've gone for two Geno Hops, which is their Niper. Interestingly, this is only 4.2%. Nipers for the Pipers, bro. Cheers. Give the people what they want, mate. What? See you off. Thank you, Valencia. We have a 10 minute walk to the next place, the Sastoria. And so, a couple of road beers, you know, for the boys. Yes. Yeah. La Sastoria, a truly stunning fish restaurant. Will we be the first ones inside? Keep 
my view, here we bloody go. We have our little amuse bouche here. Anchovy fish filleted on their fake spine. I love anchovies so much. And this is a cocktail using a type of sort of fortified wine, and we're told to have all these three together. The consistency of like a really good whiskey sour. We finally have our lip shroud from Gamba as well. Pop it in your mouth, whole kind of job. Super prawn, shrimpy flavour. Oh, hello. This is a head with all his brains and stuff intact. Fried, so you just got to get in your mouth. Yeah, boy. At Casa Montagna, we have mussels. They were beautiful. Oh my God, I've never had a bad muscle like that. And all they do is season them with like salt and they let the muscle do the talking. So here they cook them and then they dressed it in their garlic sauce, their hot sauce, some parsley. They're a little bit spicy, they're garlicky. The notes they're playing on my piano of the tongue are pretty serious. This is grilled octopus. Look, the sharp mojo verde with the creamy cheese and then some potato sheet that's give that crispiness topping. Get in there, boy. Oh my God. He knew his way around an octopus like <laughs> Um, I don't think we can use that. So this pissed off geezer, this monkfish. Quite a signature of this place. This garlicky, lemony, citrus sauce. It just complements that salty, creamy fish so much. Okay, so this is our dessert. This is pan comal, aka burnt bread. We have Baileys, some cookie crumble, bread soaked in Baileys, hooked down with Baileys ice cream. Cheers, dude. What a great day. It's been fantastic. And you come to place that we feature this film, you would not be a wash of tourists. Where do you want us to go next? We're absolutely hot to trot. Subscribe, bitches.